The recent announcement of Klaus Schwab stepping down as the leader of the World Economic Forum, WEF, marks a significant shift in the organization's structure and governance. This change is expected to have far-reaching implications for global cooperation and economic policies. Here's a comprehensive look at these developments and their potential impact. Klaus Schwab founded the World Economic Forum over 50 years ago. Under his leadership, the WEF has grown into a prominent international organization, bringing together political, business, and academic leaders to discuss and shape global economic policies. As of May 21st, Schwab is stepping down from his role, marking the end of an era for the WEF. He will transition to the role of chairman of the Board of Trustees. The WEF is shifting from a founder-managed organization to one led by a president and a managing board. This transition aims to distribute leadership responsibilities among multiple individuals, rather than concentrating power in a single leader. The new governance structure will involve four strategic committees to enhance the impact of the WEF's work. This move is intended to reinforce the organization's mission of fostering public-private cooperation. The move to a collective leadership structure could bring diverse perspectives and more democratic decision-making processes. It may enhance the WEF's ability to address complex global issues by leveraging the expertise of a broader group of leaders. There are concerns about how this new structure will function in practice. The composition of the new board, including whether it will adequately represent diverse global regions, remains a key question. The effectiveness of the WEF's initiatives will largely depend on the ability of these leaders to collaborate and reach consensus. Many senior citizens face financial difficulties due to insufficient social security benefits. Rising living costs, including housing, insurance, food, and medicine, exacerbate these challenges. The economic downturns in 2008 and recent years have significantly impacted retirement savings, leaving many without sufficient funds to support themselves in old age. Financial instability and the fear of becoming a burden on their families can severely impact the mental health of older adults. The COVID-19 pandemic has further intensified these issues, leading to increased isolation and stress. Instances like the recent suspected murder-suicide of an elderly couple in Florida highlight the extreme pressures faced by some senior citizens. These tragic events underscore the need for better social and economic support systems for the elderly. Inflation has driven up the cost of everyday items, making it increasingly difficult for those on fixed incomes to make ends meet. The rising costs of housing, insurance, food, and medicine are particularly burdensome. While wages have increased in some sectors, this has not been sufficient to offset the overall economic pressures faced by many, particularly those on fixed incomes. The video criticizes the lack of adequate government support for citizens, particularly in contrast to the assistance provided to other countries and certain groups. This lack of support contributes to the financial struggles faced by many. The transition of leadership at the World Economic Forum marks a significant change that could reshape global economic policies and cooperation. However, the effectiveness of this new structure remains to be seen, particularly in terms of its representation and ability to address complex global issues. Simultaneously, the economic and social pressures on older generations highlight the urgent need for improved support systems. Rising living costs and insufficient social security benefits are major challenges that require comprehensive policy solutions to ensure the well-being of senior citizens. The developments at the WEF and the ongoing struggles of older generations both underscore the importance of effective leadership and support systems in addressing the critical issues facing our global society.